you can't recall, let me remind you. Let me remind you. One week ago, we kicked off Extra Life Game Day, or Game Weekend here, on the stream. And as we kicked this off, we remembered we were playing for the kids. And for the kids, that is what we did. We ended up playing Friday, Saturday, and Sunday of last weekend, and we raised over $1,000. Thank you. Woo! We thought we'd hit about 600 to 700, and you took it further. Blew my mind, and we got that 1,000. A few more donations even coming in after the fact, and you still can donate today. There's a few donation deck list options left, Please, no more Tron. Thank you. But there are a few more if people would like to redeem those. But we're on our final dealer's choice here today. And dealer's choice means it is my selection. We've had way too much Tron for the kids. We will be seeing a list here from the Red Prison Discord that caught my eye. Recently in a Magic the Gathering League 5-0 deck dump, we saw someone playing Pyrite Spellbomb, and they were playing this with some other options, and it got us thinking back to the days of Astrolabe and Gadric. Now, Gadric is a new one, M21, recent dragon, and we love some dragons. Unfortunately, Rabble Master sometimes just eats a bolt, a path, or a fatal push. This can eat a Fatal Push in a path, but no Bolt. It's a 5-4, but it needs a bit of help. And that is what we're doing here today. We're going to be playing Red Metal Moon in Modern. Wilk Chamberlain, thank you for the resub. Welcome back. 11 months. 11 months. Almost at a year. Your Slime Ball is about to get renewed to a red one. Thank you so much for the sub. Welcome back. Emotes in the chat, please. Come on, subs and non-subs. Non-subs can cheer too. All right, so how do we approach Metal Moon? Well, Metal Moon actually opens us up to the option of Karn, Scion of Urza. Now, you'll notice Karn gets actually played a lot on this stream, even if it's Tron. And it's a powerful Planeswalker. What does this Karn do, though? Karn, Scion of Urza, makes those colors token and also kind of mimics a little bit of Chandra's ability by upping two cards, reveal. Opponent does get a choice, but we can get that other card later by doing the down tick. So card advantage, but the big one here is it makes Construct Artifacts, which helps Gadric. You'll notice a lot of this is in that goldfish silver moon category we have citadels relics relics are important pyrite spell bombs maze mine tomes mine stones to ramp you'll notice there is a distinct and i'll repeat this distinct lack of ritual effects and simian spirit guides because this deck wants to make big creatures evasive creatures thopter creatures dragon creatures we do have Karn the Great Creator and its package here. We've got some interesting pieces here. This is what we're going to take. Match one, game one, league one in modern. Let's go. Ever since I met you at Magic Fest. Ah, Magic Fest. I met about five or six of you on that day. Great to have you back. Thank you so much for your support over the year. Believe me, I would I would love to go back to that Magic Fest. Now that we've built up a community, it would be great to come back and see some of the folks, get some feedback, get to meet you all. But basically, we've been doing the whole dealio here. You know, what, what people do now, they get on Skype and Zoom. <laughs> we've been doing that since day one here. It's just one-way Zoom. Hmm. I get to see all your lovely, colorful text, though. I was the one who yelled out Fluffy. You were the only one who yelled out Fluffy, by the way. A few other people are like, are you a YouTube person? Or, 
do you stream on Twitch? And then they kind of like asked. This is kind of odd, but are you fluffy? I mean, I'll give it to you. I'll give it to everybody. It's a little odd to be like, are you fluffy? No, why do you ask? <laughs> but I do remember you, yes. You shouted out and I, I was like, oh my gosh. I think my back was to you and I turned around and I was like, yes. <laughs> Let's play first here. It's because I'm a big fan of Red Prison, so I watched you long before that. You watched before the stream had the video. You remember the days of Charles. Still have the pin. Pins are great. What's up, Camber? All right, this opening hand feels a little bit awkward. We got a pair of Mind Stones, which is good. I do have a way to draw twice. Do we think a draw would get me out of this? Let's double check. I think it's a 22 land deck. Probably should have noted that. 22 lands, indeed. So with 22 lands, looking at probably hitting the second. If I hit the second, we're... we're we're in tip-top shape here. I'm, uh, mm, I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it. Mm. Mm. Don't keep one landers. Have we learned anything? No. Why would I learn anything on this stream? That's for you to do and for me to show you the light. Let's go match one game one here. Let's do it. Ooh, forest. Play that little creature. I'll shoot it. Oh, Utopia Sprawl. Not ideal. Land, please. No land. Hmm. Hmm. I'm going to crack this to draw a card. Oh, no. What did we say about keeping one landers? They're Ponza, and they blow this up. We're in a lot of trouble. It's also been a hot minute since I've played against Ponza. It's not Blood Moon here. There goes our land. Pillaged. Pillage is really bad to see, considering we play a lot of artifacts. Hmm. Hmm. It was a bait. I want to. I know what they're playing. Let's let's hide information here. Let's. Slap our wrist here a little bit. We need to be better magic players. What's up, math rules? I agree, math does rule. All right, so we know what they're playing. Basically, blood moons aren't very good. The question is, is there anything in here that would interest me instead? Probably some Anger the Gods are fine because they have little creatures. And I probably can drag in this uh, White Border Dragon Claw. That's probably fine. Not the greatest card in this matchup, but my opponent and I do play red spells. Going into a Vintage Cube. Vintage Cube. Nice. Why can't you skip ads on Twitch after five seconds? Because that person bought an ad that's non-skippable. There are some skippable ads from time to time. I've run into one. Maybe it's not a thing anymore. I don't know. But the ad you were given was a non-skippable. It's similar to YouTube. I always select, I try to remember, select skippable ads. But uh, I could actually select non-skippables. That being said, I think it was Greya said that an ad came up and it was an hour and 30 minute ad. It was skippable, but that's crazy. I've been seeing some red prison decks in Historic with Chandra with Kaladesh Remastered out. Nice, Camber. You're telling me it's time to venture back to Historic? Historic might have an option for red prison or red white? Might need a little assistance, but I could see that. I've seen some 40 plus minute ads. I don't know how they think that's an ad. What they do is they actually, it's an ad, but I wanna say they actually get payout differently. I'll explain after this one. Let's play first. Oh shoot. Have we learned anything yet? 
on the play, one lander. Double removal. Have we learned anything? This button. Please, Maul. <laughs> All right, there we go. We can play this. Keep, we'll get rid of the gemstone. And off to the races we go. You've been playing Red Prisonish and Historic for a while? Nice, Beanball. I trust many of you to play Historic Prison for us. We will continue to wave the flag in, in Modern, but you have my good graces to do what you need to in other formats and report in. Many of you are, are many of you are subs. You could, you could slap that Discord button. Oh, I'm gonna kill this. I'm gonna, ooh, how do I kill this? I guess Galvanic Blast is better later because it's like interactive, but this could draw me a card later. Do I just Galv Blast this? I don't know, this could be four damage later. Hey Hooch, thank you for the tier one, eight months. We have Wilk Chamberlain almost at a year and Hooch and I, we gotta come up with baby names here soon. Almost to the nine months. Thank you for that resub. All right, so my opponent has four cards here. We have Arbor Elf. This could be more later. This could be a draw. I think I'm gonna fire off Spirite. Spell bomb at my lovely opponent here and kill the Arbor Elf and pass the turn. I like the instant speed a little bit better and I like that it could be four damage with this creature list. Bonus Arbor Elf here, easy target. Smack it with the Galvanic Blast. Pia Kira Nalar looks like a great follow-up. Let's blast it past turn. I like the idea of Anger of the Gods maybe hitting a couple things wide. Uh, we could arguably make the Anger of the Gods this play since I'm about to put three creatures on the battlefield. Uh, but they could also be blowing up a land here. So we might not be doing that immediately. Let's just see. If we count watching YouTube videos, and I'm probably over a year, I imagine many of you are over a year if you include some of the YouTube stuff you might have caught before showing up to the Twitch, the Twitch side, the dark side. This is where all the content and the, the chemistry happens. This is where the dangerous puns are created. This is where we learn to F6, keep one landers, and lose. Game after game after game. Season Pyromancer. Oh, Anger of the Gods looking a little bit juicier here. Elemental and a Chandra Torch of Defiance hits the bin. <laughs> um, what if I just slap Season uh, Season Pyromancer down? No, let's not do that. Maybe it's just Pia Kieran Alar here. Do some chump blocking, do whatever, and then season Pyromancer and be ahead of my opponent, probably. Yeah, let's go for it. Look, you made one, I made two tokens. Does Painter count as a mono red prison? In Legacy, yes, right? Because you name red, right? Painter could get there. After all, we did try to make Painter lock in. Uh, Try to try to make it in where we were. I'm gonna just do a one block, get hit for two here. It kind of seems interesting to me. Use Pia Kira and Alarm, th attack and throw Thropters. Could be a thing. Stomps away my Pia Kira and Alarm. Now I want this to be played before I rush this out. Mind Stone. Let's go ahead and just pass the turn. We're gonna get a sweet turn here where I'm gonna top deck a land, get to anger and season pyromancer. Let's be on the deep fence. This is a pretty easy block and block. Take zero damage. Don't put this into the yard here. <clears throat> My opponent plays this. It's easy anger the gods. Not gonna crack mind stone just yet. Nice. Cool. Good value anger here. One, two, three. Ooh, anger. And pass the turn. 
This coming turn, we might crack the Mind Stone here because I have two Season Pyromancers, and we are going to go ahead and do that. Gal Blast. Don't really care about that card. Karn, the greatest of creators, is here. 100% in Legacy. So this gains them life and mana. I'm trying to think if there's anything over here that I would want. All my relics are in, in the main. So finding a relic plus a land would be a pretty pretty decent turn here. Uh yeah, painter's a little more combo heavy. But I'm I'm a fan of painter, especially the the fancy one. I wonder if this is a turn to get rid of Galvanic and Season Pyromancer and try to hit that Relic to turn this off. My opponent's struggling here briefly on mana, as is ours. I think I'm going to try that. Season Pyromancer getting rid of these two. Keep the Karn for later. Try to hit Relic. Oh. Oh, we should have pitched Karn, apparently. This is still fine, though, because we're presenting four damage a turn. Coding, they've missed land drops. Possibly. Possibly. They've got this out here, so that kind of negates the whole land drop. We kill a land, they put a land in, they get a land. It's tough to say, because it definitely could have been a Karn turn. I went, I went looking for another land, but hey, you know. Ooh. Ooh. Questing Beast. With all my little tokens, this isn't good. <laughs> All my little tokens, questing beast. Hmm. Huh. I might have to get a bridge. Might have to get a bridge to slow this down. It's not ideal. Not ideal, we'll go ahead and get it. I don't really see a reason necessarily to attack. They just happily block one, take two at most here. We're gonna take probably an additional two this turn, plus the four, they might swing at Karn. Looking to put bridge down to slow this down because I don't want this. That being said, there might be pillages. Kind of in a bad spot. Takes my season pyromancer. No more tokens. P and Karen is shooting questing beast with the token. Could could plan to do that. It's an option. The Utopia Sprawl. They've done damage to me. They still have three mana here. I like threatening a bridge here and potentially redirecting this to Karn. They don't care. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. One land here. Oh, that's right. The Questing Beast has 3,000 text on it. Forgot about 3,000 text Karn. Yeah. Let's go combat here. Make it look like I forgot it last time. What I can do is anger instead this time around if I wanted to. But I'll probably bridge even if they block. This attack is trying to make it look like I have like a Gal of Blast in hand, which is what they've seen. Huh. They decide to just block. They have seen an anger. I was trying to get them to no block there, thinking I had the Galv Blast. They actually block the one that Galv Blast would take care of it. This is making me wonder if they have another another questing beast.
I'm gonna go ahead and anger. I'm a little worried about a second questing beast here instead of playing my bridge down, but angering there allows me to possibly top deck land, Karn down tick and go get a walking, or not walking, a worm coil engine. Worm coil engine might get me back in this, might not. Going for mana here worries me for five. Six mana, never mind. This isn't good. Oh no. They attack me for four. I kind of need relic. Not you. <laughs> All right, this was not hasted in. So the only way we live here is bridge, defend, following turn, relic to shut this off. Or I die to God of destiny. Land drop, two cards. We kind of misplayed that first game here by keeping the one lander and getting super greedy. Relic. Darksteel Citadel, and I do not have Relic or Torp Orb in the ER, or sorry, Relic or anything else. All right, let's play. This Karn uptick, maybe they give me a Relic here, playing to our minimal outs here. What cards were revealed? Maze Mine and a Karn Scion. They're both good cards. Uh, we have four Relics main. I will say this, not that I've played the first game very well, but this game was gonna be hard anyway. My opponent's sporting four Pillages in their main deck. <clears throat> and uh, when you're playing Artifacts, Pillage is not good to see, let's just say that. Opponent takes it away, God of Destiny, Glory Bringer. We kept a one lander, shouldn't have done that. We've learned our lesson, like you should. Let's go to our next match. 0 2 start. We got the bad game out of the way. Let's take it from here. See? Four relics. Four relics. All right. We are warmed up. It's been a while since we've played red. This hand looks okay. Been just a little while. <clears throat> Let's do it. This is a much better starting hand here. We've got interaction for maybe a Small creature, we've got a nice mind stone here. Looking pretty good. Uh-oh. Inquisition probably takes the mind stone. Might take the blast. Never taking this, right? How's everyone's Friday going, by the way? I hope it's well. I always ask what day and how you're doing just to confuse all the YouTube folks. It's Friday? Yes, it's Friday. They take Mind Stone. We play another Mountain and pass the turn here. Gal Blast on the ready. Might be playing Gadric next. No ramp. I'll have to rewatch the deck tech on YouTube. This looks a little spicy. It's sort of, I guess it's sort of a deck tech, right? Sort of, sort of, maybe kind of. Play Mindstone over Gadric here. I, I have a feeling they might have like fetch fatal push. I don't want Gadric to die here. And Gadric can't attack at the moment, so why bother? They have no idea about Pia Kir and Alar. They know about these three cards. Karn, Gadric, and something else. Cling to dust my Mindstone. Nice. The general idea here, y'alls, is basically play Metal Moon with Gadric as the replacement for Rabble Master. That's the gist of it. Opponent Thought seizes here. It's fine. I like all my four three drops. Gadric being the weakest right now, because this one needs a few artifacts. Four to be exact. 
card Metal Moon? <laughs> no such thing. The deck is Metal Moon. Red Prison mixed with a bunch of artifacts. Yep. Takes Pia Kira Nalar because Pia Kira Nalar is sweet. Lots of tokens. My opponent is spot removal galore here. Metal Moon could be liquid metal coating. It could be. Target opponent reveals their hand. You choose an instant or sorcery. Take two and put your Death Shadow out next turn? I don't know. <laughs> Mycosynth Lattice? We love Mycosynth Lattice. I'm going to play Karn here. I am going to go down here and I'm going to go pick up a Lickle Metal Coating for the future. We are assembling our artifacts so Gadric is looking better and better. We'll see though. No fear of a burn spell. We have a Liliana. Probably just discard this relic. I'm gonna start blowing up lands here to get rid of a fatal push. Maze mind. I want to grab this pithy needle, but I also don't care about Liliana. Let's liquid metal. Let's get rid of a shambling vent. Seems good. Let's go ahead and maze mind and pass the turn. This gets rid of Gadric, unfortunately, but they could also down tick with Gadric out. If they put a creature ever into play, I can Karn down tick and get rid of that. Maze Mind Tome's gonna let us draw. Mindstone lets us draw. Opponent's got four mana. Skyclave. Skyclave's pretty good getting rid of Karn the Great Creator. Good to know. And it's good to know because we'll go get Torp Orb soon. Soon. There goes Gadric here. Empty handed for both of us. There's a relic. Let's go ahead and draw a card. Extra land. Land down and relic. We'll wait. I don't have much that I would want to draw with this relic. Scared of this Liliana. Looks like they're going to attack for two and uptick Liliana here. Seems clunky and slow. This list? Oh, we're gonna cling. Cling before uptick is interesting. Oh. Oh. Well, we just haven't hit the, the hand where you go turn one, dark steel, turn two, you know, maybe interaction or maze mine, turn three. Gadric, turn four, Pia Kira Nalar. Just haven't haven't done that amazing stuff yet. There's a spell bomb. That'll get rid of Skyclave here. Or attack Liliana. Both are good options here. Season Pyro. Let's scry to see what this season Pyromancer is going to pick me up. I like seeing a land here. wonder if I want this land. That would mean I could play Spyrite and shoot this. I don't think I care about Skyclave as much here. I get one other creature, one other token. No, this wouldn't have an extra token yet. So I'd have to shoot. We have one, two, three. I can play this down and shoot with, so I don't want this land. This down. Season Pyromancer. See what else I draw. OK. 
Okay, so another season and a Mind Stone. With this kind of hand, I know they'll uptick so I can get rid of the Mind Stone. Having another season Pyromancer seems good. So I think doing two damage to Liliana will be fine here. Go ahead, opponent. We could easily draw something with Maze Mind and play Season Pyromancer if we wanted to. I doubt they down tick with Liliana, so this uptick is for Mind Stone. Looking okay. Liking our setup here. Silent Clearing gets a redraw, uses Field to do this. Field is goodbye. If we top deck a Karn at any point, Liquid Metal Coating becomes real live here. Ooh, no sacrifice. Must have drawn into another Lily or something. What a strange turn. They did not want to uptick. They only used one mana though. Do they have stuff at five? One, two, draw. See what we get. Land. Land. Mind Stone. Three mana. Season Pyromancer. Go ahead. That's really good. So we play the Mind Stone there because we don't get a token, but I'm going to treat Mind Stone as a redraw later. That's the idea. Maybe they drew another land. Silent Clearing here pops the Silent Clearing. By the way, this combination of cards should be enough to get them. There will be Thought Seizing or Inquisitioning. Nope. Clinging. Okay. Clings Pyrite Spell Bomb because they want to draw instead of Season Pyromancer, giving me an option to potentially bring that back as well. New Skyclave. Nails a <laughs> Season Pyromancer here. They can uptick here. I think I want to get rid of Galvanic Blast, because I'm going to play Karn, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, yeah. We're going to play Karn, down tick, and play Ensnaring Bridge, and then use Liquid Metal against them. Opponent is so clingy. Stop on my opponent's turn on their upkeep here. Cool. So land here, one, two, three, four. Karn, the greatest of creators. Down for bridge. Play bridge. Pass the turn and shut off probably just Liliana. That means they get to keep their card, that's fine. Keeping Liliana in check is fine. Yeah, we'll shut off Lily here. Stoneforge. Okay. I can probably draw with Maze Mind. We have a bunch of 2-2s, two but it should be okay. Batter Skull. <laughs> Shutting off Lily. They're like, thanks. Ooh. Big Incarn. Big Karn. I can pretty safely draw a card here. Okay. It's a Citadel. Play that, one, two, three, four, Karn. Let's go up with Karn here. It puts another card into my hand, but that's totally fine. 
Uh, reveal cards are what appears to be Season Pyromancer and Spellbomb. Hmm. <laughs> Gives me Spellbomb. So just play that out. Shoot Stoneforge here. Go up on a land, I think. I'm gonna go up on a land instead of working on Liliana. Because I think if I can get them low enough in terms of their land count here, I can then shut off this with like a pithy needle out of the sideboard with Karn the Great Creator. So I'm not as concerned about Liliana. We know they have Batter Skull, they can't even play it. So if they wanted to play something else and then they'd have the Batter Skull that they'd have to pitch to Liliana. So Liliana might be turned off here anyway. Clings the dust to draw another card. They take my Pyrite Spell Bomb, continuing to leave Season Pyromancer because they want to draw cards. We hit a new Pyrite Spell Bomb. I know I have Season Pyromancer in the wings for this. Let's go up here. We end up revealing two lands. They give me one of those. Thank you. Let's go ahead and draw a card. Okay, a couple Pyrite Spell Bombs are, are nifty here. Let's go ahead and go after a land again. And I think we can just hang tight here. I'll let them use Liliana Uptick here. I could shoot two creatures if I wanted to. Can't attack with a 4-4 token or a 3-3 token from the Season Pyromancer, unfortunately. Those both being tucked under the Skyclaves. I think we've, uh, we've got a lock here. Got a lock. Not to mention a few things have tokens for future draws if I needed them, if we got kind of out from underneath that. And our Blood Moon here coming was going to be pretty brutal. I suppose I should be going after Basics. Maybe want to be mindful of that. How do you deal with an opposing Karn? Pit they needle it. And then nobody gets Karn. You get Liquid Metal Coating. Uh, nothing, because you can't activate it. Just shoot it with Galvanic Blast or attack it with Biakir and Alar. Tokens. Prison doing prison things. That's what we're trying to do. Yeah, I can shoot it or attack it. Shoot it with Galvanic Blast, attack it with Gadric, attack it with Pia Kiranar, attack it with Season Pyromancer. Yeah, if they go Bridge and Karn, then yeah, we got a bit of a problem. Sort of. I've got Pia Kiranar as an option. I'm starting at this Torp Orb thinking I want it, and really I don't, but it's just going to sit here and make me think I want it for a little while. We can enjoy this, right? I think this matchup, I don't need the relics. So this might be like three relics out, three angers in, because they have Skyclaves and they have Stoneforge Mystics. And just being happy with that. There may be a case for bringing the Pithy Needle in for the, uh, for the not Walking Ballista, for Stoneforge Mystic. But I think, I think I just want to be behind this like Singleton Bridge here and then just play the removal game. Anyone else is following the fun Twitter drama about the championship? No. <clears throat> Who needs drama in their life? Just play magic. Just play magic. All right, we got Gadric here and a Maze Mind Tome. I kind of like the hand here, so I'm going to keep it. The reason for liking it is the Maze Mind Tomes do quite a bit we've noticed and my opponent being a discard deck to some core value uh, I'm pretty happy to have them for just turning out extra value against them I avoid MTG Twitter as much as I can make my own Twitter make my own Twitter and YouTube that's where you can find me 
takes big Karn here with the Tide Hollow. All right, one Maze Mine down, past turn. Got a Season Pyromancer off the top. That's looking nice. Let's go ahead and mark a stop on my turn. Stoneforge Mystic, Batter Skull, Sword of Fire and Ice. That's a small problem. So I almost need an anger here. Let's scry twice. Bottom this. Scry again. Bottom. Spell bomb. All right. Now we get rid of Stoneforge. This is a dangerous card for us. A very dangerous card. This would give me creatures that could block a sword. Albeit, I have to kind of finagle that. I think I want to kill the Stoneforge Mystic here and make it expensive to bring the Sword of Fire Ice in. I'd rather them not untap here, do Stoneforge, put this in, and then the next time they can equip to a creature, we're in trouble. We do have to play, like, quicker removal. That's going to be interesting. So if I don't get removal here, I'm a little bit nervous of what could happen. I'm not sure I can race my opponent. Let's do another scry here. Another season pyromancer. This is probably not worth keeping. Bottom this, plan season pyromancer, try to find a way to kill this. Let's make some tokens. I'm really worried about this sword here. I'm gonna make one token here and keep a maze mine for the future. That's not what we needed. All right, so Anger of the Gods won't clear this fast enough. It will have protection, not to mention it will also be a 4-4. So we have to deal, we have to beat a three turn clock here with them removing my creatures. I don't see us doing that unless we top deck Karn the Great Creator, down tick, bridge, and they don't have a removal spell for us. That is the only out I see. Player agreed to let their opponent shortcut an infinite life gain combo and said they wouldn't attack with field tokens. They later did. Hmm. Lingering souls. We've got lots of tokens here. Probably have to take a scry. We do gain life, giving me an extra turn. There's the Galv Blast that we needed before. It was one card deeper. That being said, they would have had this hooked up to a lingering souls. Galv Blast does not win this game. It's bottom. Blood Moon. Maze Mine. Scry here to kind of see what's going on. Bottom. I'm going to play a Blood Moon and pass turn here. Blood Moon theoretically will slow them a little bit down. We're going to take six, seven, eight. I can then anger the gods to get rid of two of the damage, hopefully. Maybe a little bit more because they want to use this Lingering Souls. Hoping they don't draw into anything that just breaks us here. Courtyard played. Oh, Batter Skull. Now I want that Galvanic Blast back. One, two, three, four, one, two. I don't think I have an out anymore. Scry. 
Bottom Blood Moon. Ugh. If I held the Galv Blast, Anne would have angered the previous turn instead of Blood Moon. Ah, but they might have had more. Hits for 4 plus 6. It's enough to kill me. Karn the Great Creator showing up just a touch too late. That's alright, we get to play first. Coming up here. Get to play first. Any changes? I'm gonna go with no. I'm gonna go with no. Alright, let's play first. I think we can keep this. A couple Pia Kirin Alars is gonna be pretty nice, not to mention Galv Blast is a nice way to clear up some of the problem cards at the beginning of the game. A lot of X2 creatures from my opponent. Hopefully, that will mean I can get rid of some of these. We'll lead with this relic, planning to draw with it. Let's go. Game three here. Concealed Courtyard. Could be anything. Probably Inquisition Thoughtseize. Take Scalv Blast. Goodbye, Galv Blast. Goodbye. Alright, a Blood Moon they're not aware of. This game could get interesting here. Unaware of impending doom. Impending doom here. A Blood Moon seems like a good draw. You betcha. You betcha. I want to see non-basic land, Stoneforge Mystic. Can't believe I'm asking for that. Non-basic land. Spellbomb. That's for that season Pyromancer. Here we go. Blood Moon. There we go. Now what, opponent? Let's start the clock here. I want to end the game quicker. Get the Pia Kira Nalar down. Next will be Karn, the greatest of creators. And we get there. Blood Moon locking out our black-white token player here. Getting it done. Off the top, too. Got some nice draws coming up, too, to remove just some pesky problem cards. And we're one. And one. One and one. Maybe getting greedy in match one, but getting in there in match number two. Whew. Got some ideas brewing for the list so far. Got some ideas. We'll see, we'll see. Liking Pyrite Spellbomb so far. It's kind of a nice addition to the list. Able to draw, able to remove something. Liking it. I'm liking it. Never thought I'd say this about a red prison, but this deck seems sweet. See? Red prison can be sweet. Most people just imagine that it's just blood moons, chalices, and bridges. This one takes it a bit of a different route. Kind of like red tokens. Basic land shark, thank you for the hundred biddies. Cheers. I like the Four of Relics. When you're playing that Scred, when you're playing that 
Not so much bridge package. I like the relics in here. Hooch, giving a gifted sub to the Geek Media. Thank you. Hey, one lander. One land, what do we think about one landers? I don't know, maybe I should keep this one. I haven't quite learned what we should be doing about one landers with this list yet. Maybe we should experiment some more. I've just been jamming ad nauseum. Ooh. On play, keep. What? It's on the draw. On the draw. What could go wrong? What could go wrong? Should we? You know we're supposed to mulligan this, but should we keep this? We can even put this out faster. Hmm. I kind of want to, again. This is gonna turn into the league of failing to learn. Failing to learn, look at this, I can blast the first thing they play here. Oh gosh, Thoughtseize, oh no. Mull, oh no, it came too late. The voice of reason, the voice of reason there. What do you think, eight rack? Oh, they took the pyrite spell bomb? Unbelievable. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh, they are rack. Oh, my gosh, they're rack. They're rack, and I use gemstone caverns. What a loony I am. Maze mind tome. That gets us away from the rack shenanigans. Go ahead, opponent. Ah, Mull would be terrible now. Look at how bad it would have been. Look at how bad it would have been. Land. We do hit a land. Nice. Blast this. Get out of here. Go ahead, opponent. Planning to draw with Maze Mind Tome. It's all working out. It's reaffirming the chances of doing another one lander in our future. I'm excited. Extra Shrieking Affliction, no follow-up. This poor person. It's almost over. It's almost over. Put a seasoned Pyromancer out here to just begin putting pressure on my opponent. We'll just pass here with three cards in hand. Looking good. I forgot who brought it up, but I have now seen the Twitter MTG drama, and it's so silly. Silliness. It's attack. Whoosh. In for damage. Land. Karn, the greatest of creators. I'm gonna put Walking Ballista into hand and pass turn. Walking Ballista is a threat. I don't need a bridge. I don't need liquid metal coating at this point. Could have gotten a Pithy Needle for Liliana or Davriel. Uh-oh. White mana. Lingering souls. Well, I'm glad I got a walking ballista. Seems like the perfect pick. Let's see here. Hmm. I'm gonna lose Karn, so let's just go down one more here and go get a worm coil. Play a land. Draw a card, play a Season Pyromancer, get rid of Karn, the greatest of creators in land, and attack for some damage. We're about to get a Worm Coil engine down. My opponent's going to kill Karn, that great creator. We've got plenty of cards in hand here. Things are looking good. It's snowing. I have dramatically looked out my window using x-ray vision. There is no snow. Kills Garden.
We're gonna play Worm Coil here, because even though my opponent's got some Shrieking Afflictions over there, my intention is to bash this turn. I'm at a solid 20, going to maybe something lower than 20, and wor <clears throat> Worm Coil should finish this off. Do they have an answer to Worm Coil? Liliana, down tick, down tick, down tick, fatal push, fatal push. Also, they should have been holding some of these lands for Raven's Crime. They play another Urborg. Lose the Urborg. Combat. Swing for four damage, because they're going to chump this one. Draw a card. Pass turn. Pass turn. Good luck discarding this. Ooh. Ooh. Polluted Delta. One. 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 Polluted Delta. Wow, good job. Yeah, I respect this opponent. That's the way to go out. That sounded similar to no? I don't think it was similar to no. We were just simply defining what um, what was happening there. I really don't have much here. We don't want Dragon's Claw. We don't want Damping Sphere. Torpor messes us up more than it would ever mess them up. Pithy Needle is probably just better to grab off Karn the Great Creator. They don't have many creatures except for maybe Nether Spirit. Uh, clearly does not have Islands. Bridge might be useful. Better to just grab it off the Karn. Worm Coil would be cool. Again, just grab it off the Karn. Walking Ballista, grab it off the Karn. Maze Mind Tome is going to be our best card here. Luckily, we have three of them. Reconfirmed. Keeping one landers is A-OK. -okay. Have we learned anything this stream? Don't tell me what not to do. Let my dreams live on. My dreams. My dreams is to keep one landers and punish my opponents all the time. Keep. Look at this hand. It's perfect. Two lander, extra value. Double the possibilities. Opponents play, putting us on the play for sure. Nope, they're on the play. Thought seizes. Don't let your dreams be memes, exactly. It's too much lands. Maybe I should have mulliganed. That's true. That's true. Maybe we would have keep a zero lander. Steals my mind stone. How rude. I'm just gonna pass. I don't see a reason to rush out the spell bomb. Yes, it sort of replaces itself, but also playing it replaces itself. Maybe they're going to make me discard, like, wrench mine or something. Why aren't 8 rack players using Waste Knot? They're just not. By the way, here we go, setting this potential stuff up. Maybe the spy Pyrite Spellbomb is better to have in play for Gadric. Maybe not. We're going to set it up so we do Gadric, Pia Kirin, Karn Down Tick. Yeah. Cool. Inquisition. My opponent is attacking our hand. There goes Gadric. Wouldn't have mattered if I had the spell right spell bomb in play. Well, let's see if we can get to Pia Kirin Alar. That is the hope of the dream. The not so distant meme. Land and play, go ahead. One card to beat for my opponents. Getting four damage on the battlefield would be really good. Hoping for no Inquisition, or hoping for no Thought Seas. It was just a land. Just a land. Pia Kirin in play. Go ahead, opponent. Good luck. Draws with Castle Lockthwain. Three cards.
Inquisitions, Miss. Godless Shrine, Lingering Souls. Nice, well played. Well played, turn off from this. Hmm. Play Blood Moon just to shut off future Lingering Souls. And uh, let's just sit back for a turn. I'm gonna sit back for a turn here because I could throw these artifacts at these. We have four Lingering Souls to get through. We need that old school Chain Whirler. Nice. It's Karn the Great Creator. We're gonna go up here. We're gonna pass turn. We have lots of defense here. We're gonna set ourselves up for a nice juicy walking ballista and get things rolling. Do I know? I was talking to Dylan MTG today. Dylan MTG and I had a chat. He, uh, I forget what he did. Cause then, I, oh, he tweeted out something and then I, I tweeted back. And I was like, sup? Block, block. Blocking in the air. Afraid of a Liliana? No. Lily down tick, go for it. Nothing. That's right. Nothing. Galv Blast is actually really cute here. Galv Blast can kill one of these and I can put a... Alright. Surgical's my Karn Sign of Urza. I have one of those. It is a fascinating story. You see how scatterbrained I can get? It's great, isn't it? I hope this last card's not Fatal Bush. So Dylan and I had a chat today, though. Back to the more important topic. Walking Ballista, one, two, three, four. Ding! Lunch ready. By the way, they attack with these two. We can just end them. This does four damage right now. Four damage. There we go. Getting eight rack. Putting eight rack in its place. Working nicely. You tell those all the time. Find his YouTube channel and he has invites to his Discord if you do join. Say I sent hi. Me and Dylan used to deck test against each other at four in the morning. Blood Moon turns off the lands. It only does two. There's still artifacts. They're still artifacts, they're not, they're artifact mountains. Galvanic Blast still meets the Metalcraft. Still artifacts. They're pretty mountain artifacts. I believe they lose indestructible. I'm trying to remember if they lose that or not. They will know. <gasps> Luris? Luris with a relic? Absolutely, I'm gonna keep. Look at this. And guess what? We have three lands this time. That's like triple power, and we're on the play. Let's make sure we're not auto yielding here. Mountain is a subtype. The red artifact land, how to make it modern legal, big brain. They should lose indestructible? I think, I think they do. They're definitely an artifact, but I think they lose indestructible. You're not sure they do? I don't I don't recall. That one I would have to look at. But I do know they're an artifact land still. Great for attacking with a braids. Whether it destroys it or not, I don't know. Alright, my opponent's considering they're opening six. They've mulliganed once. All right, Relic here, a great starting card against a Luris deck. They, after all, would probably like to play things from their graveyard. Layers are confusing. Yep, all you gotta remember is the Urborg and Dryad Arbor and stuff like that. Blood Crypt here, Shocks in. 
plays Bomat. Bomat. We're going to have this Blood Moon down soon. Soon. Mind Stone into New Relic. Go ahead, opponent. Double Relic power. Double Relic power. Bloodstain Mire. Bomat. Cracks. Fetch Shock, Fetch Shock, Fetch Shock. Ugh. Swamp. Ugh. Thoughtsies. To Fluffy and everyone in chat, what is one card you started playing that performed better than you thought it would? Braid of Fire. You see how serious I am? Braid of Fire. In any deck. The Ballard Task Mage. All right, so we've got to beat several Bowmats here. Ooh. Hmm. This is kind of interesting. What if I draw one with Relic here? I would want to shoot one of these before drawing with Relic. Let's play Spell Bomb. Let's shoot one of these. Let's pop Relic. Play Land Pass Turn. I want to keep one of the Relics. Popping the Relic after using Spell Bomb and killing the creature means it's accessible through Karn, the Great Creator. Spoils of the Vault? Can be. Depends on what you pick, right? Won't draw here. Gosh, another Relic. Blood Moon? Shutting off Silent Clearing unless they decide to use it right here. Decides to use it right there. Grab the Silent Clearing. Relic number two in past turn. So we've got a few draws here. Mind Stone, Relic, and Relic. My opponent's just attacking us with a 1-1. One, one. I'm a little bit nervous about where we're going here. Opponent bolts themselves. We have Death Shadow on its way. Scourges and Death Shadows are going to be scary because our bridge isn't main deck. We only have one bridge. It's sideboard. End step here, we'll probably pop one of these relics to do a draw. I need to find actions for creatures, specifically Death Shadow, Scourge, and Bowmat here. Season Pyromancer is not bad. Ooh. Galv Blast got smaller. <laughs> How much is a dono right now? The donos are in the extra life stuff. The extra life page. After that, I'll have to figure out how I accept donation lists. Maybe we'll support good charity causes. If I wouldn't have popped that relic, well, I would have drawn Season Pyromancer. I wonder if I'm supposed to shoot Death Shadow here. We have two cards here. They could, they could bolt themselves or something. Go ahead and try to kill the Death Shadow. It's kind of an interesting card here because I want to try to kill this. They could bolt themselves or they could do something else to save it. The fact that I get through there feels really good. Season Pyromancer draws a few cards. Play our Citadel down. By the way, it is a artifact land mountain with no indestructible. And it says, structures built from dark steel yield to neither assault nor age. False. Blood Moon is aged you well. You want to support the Feed Fluffy charity? Ooh. Let's get rid of Death Shadow here. I wonder if I'm supposed to pop this. 
If I pop this, I mean like, Alaris isn't showing up. If I pop it now, I draw and it, mm, popping, popping off. Reconsidered my options there. All right, we got double Karns here and a Season Pyromancer, looking good. What a fluff. Ooh, Thoughtseize, choose. If he gets a P.O. Box, we can ship him Pop-Tarts in bulk. Bulk Pop-Tarts. <clears throat> Kelberry, thank you for the follow. Ah, uh, they might have, they might have top decked. Might have top decked. Let's move Blurris out of the way. This is the Scion one. Where do I spend money on the keep two man in the basement forever charity? Finally get to see you live, welcome. The sandwich alignment chart. What are we talking about, Zale? I'm really tempted to do Karn down tick here. Like Karn down tick, see where they take bow at here. I have a nice solid three, three, nothing crazy this turn. Maybe even make another one next turn. So in 2021, I will think about how to incorporate donation lists from time to time. We'll think about it. Takes great planning. Gadrict is a flying dragon, which requires four or more artifacts to be able to attack, not block, attack. And at the beginning of your end step, create a treasure token for each non-token creature that died this turn. Ooh, my opponent found a Scourge. That's pretty good. Attack with Bowmat and use that to draw five. That would be pretty good too. Attacks me, I will block. Very little reason not to. My opponent will draw five. Scary thing is, what do they have? It's a big scourge. This is a big scourge. Bolts, Karn. Interesting. Choosing to bolt Karn instead of Construct seems all right. All right. Land and Gadric in hand. Go ahead and do Gadric here and pass the turn. It can't attack this turn, but next turn it might get interesting. Might get interesting. I'm afraid of a team or battle rage. Currently, team or battle rage kills me. Swift Spear. I'm liking Gadric over Rabble Master right now. For what it's worth. All right, so Swift Spear plus Bowmat here. Teamer Battle Rage does kill. This attack could be lethal on the turn back, depending on what I top deck here. Let's just block in such a way that I'm probably getting rid of something. Oh, team or bad rage. All right, didn't really matter too much what I did there. This would kill, put two through, I'd go to 12. After going to 12, this would be an eight and hit me for an additional eight, putting me to four. Top of the library would have to be super kind to me and I would not have a Gadrick here. And we would be taking an additional one through the bow mat, which would put me to three, making bolt lethal. Top was a citadel, which allows me to attack and the spell bomb after that, which would be lethal. All right. 
Hmm. I don't mind Dragon Claw in this matchup. Gaining a little bit of life could be really nice. Let's get rid of a couple of Pyrite Spell Bombs. Make that swap. I think I'm going to do a couple Angers here over one Blood Moon and perhaps a Relic. Let's think here if we want to change anything else. Does Team or Battle Rage ever not kill you? Um, <laughs> most times it's killing you, Grayus. Most times it is. I kind of want this other Dragon Claw. I know Blood Moon is decent here, but maybe it's not worth three. Let's just like main deck the Dragon Claws and give them a shot. This is better in Prowess, but it could make the math a little bit odd. And if we can cast a couple of our own red spells with Dragon's Claws out, I might actually shrink Scourges enough to either kill them with Galvanic Blast or kill them just by being above 20. We'll see. We will see. Going more on the Dragon's Claw than Anger the Gods, which may be slightly wrong. We'll find out. I already know one or two things I would change with the list, though. But you have to wait till the end. Wait till the end. Opening hand looks pretty decent to me. We'll go ahead and keep this. Galvanic Blast to maybe kill a creature. And follow that up with a Maze Mind Tome to draw and gain life in the future. Don't know if we want to be ramping out to Karn the Great Creator. We could. I don't think we have to, though. Let's see what they're going to get. Mulls to six. All right, here we go. Six versus seven, game number two. Against Red Black, Prowess, Scourge, Death Shadow. All of the above. Swift Spear here, that's a great Galvanic Blast target. Boom. Perfect. Perfect. Go ahead and put a Maze Mind Tome out and pass turn. Drawing a Season Pyromancer makes me want to find... Find that red mana. Thought Seize for our opponent goes down to 16 for them. What do they take? Maybe Karn? Maybe Pyromancer? Tough to decide. If they don't take Mind Stone here, I might, I might just let this roll and then plan to draw Maze Mind at end step next turn, putting Gemstone Mind Stone out, and then I have two mana for this. I think we can try for that. Ooh, Blood Crypt. Shocked in a Blood Crypt there. Extra Mind Maze Mind Tome. Put a Mind Stone down, land, new mind, Maze Mind Tome. Deciding to do that instead of doing the draw here. We know that a Death Shadow is probably th the thing coming up. All right, we miss, that's okay though. We're gonna draw a random card and we will uh, pass. No, let's draw one more. We can hit a land. We do hit a land. There we go. Cool. All right. Some Pia Kira Nalars and Season Pyromancers. Kia Pier, Kia, Pia Kira Nalar can uh, fly over. They should take Pia Kira Nalar here. Gonna be gaining some life soon. It's looking pretty good. Does so. There goes Pia. Draw a random card. It's a Blood Moon. Well, that changes my mind. <laughs> Let's draw a card. 
And let's just slap down a Blood Moon. That kind of shuts off all of their lands from black here. Yeah, they got Tide Hollow down, but now they only have Bowmat, Monastery Swift Spear, Team or Battle Rage. I don't know if they have much else after that. In fact, they don't have enough. And the Blood Moon makes them concede. Proving Blood Moon is definitely one of the stronger cards right now. Maybe I should bring these Blood Moons back in. Hmm. Hmm. Huh. Maybe I should have more of those. Let's get rid of a Dragon's Claw. Let's get rid of another Dragon's Claw. That was a cute idea. Let's get rid of the third one. Let's bring Anger back in. It was a cute idea and it was a terrible idea. There we go. <laughs> bring the Blood Moons back. Let's... Let's go. Let's go. Um, Geek Media or Seed Seedna. I agree. Elish Norn. Pretty Elish Norn's really nice. Pretty Phyrexian. Seeing that at the top of my chat box. We try not to miss things. All right, Blood Crypt, immediate Swift Spear here. We're keeping the Maze Mind Tome again because that was pretty stellar last time. Pretty stellar. We top deck a Galvanic Blast, get to blow up the Swift Spear. This hand's starting to look a bit like last time. We'll see what happens here. Let's get rid of my upkeep stop. Bloodstained Mire goes and fetches a basic this time around. Excuse me? Did we not learn anything? What if I top deck Blood Moon, opponent? Tide Hall is black and white, by the way. <clears throat> there you go. We can take Anger. There you go. There you go. We got Maze Mine down now. I think I can wait. They know the hand's basically basically all for the most part lands i doubt they're going to inquisition or thought seize here i think they want to progress their board state opponent's going to attack me for two if they play scourge i will scry all right bot We're gonna scry, trying to get rid of this sooner rather than later. All right, well, we have the damage to kill this. It's probably the time to go ahead and just do that. So we scryed a little bit, seeing if we could find different answers and different ways to deal with that card. We didn't, so we just blasted it. A reason to play the Dark Steel Citadel last turn over the basic mountain. Opponent shocks in here and plays a Swift Spear. We've got a 2-2 and a 1-2 that has Prowess. Coming in for a solid 3 damage. Down to 14 and follows this up with... Another Scourge will be a pain. Another Scourge. Let's go Scrying again. Let's bottom this. Looking for something that may be Board Wipe. It's a Relic. Alright, Pia Kiranalar makes... Some sweet flyers. We're at that stage again where Teamer Battle Rage is going to kill me. If I don't chump block here. Swift Spear. One card in hand. Hmm. And no attack here would telegraph that they don't have the Teamer Battle Rage. Let's go block him. Block as much as we can here. If this resolves, Anger the God goes to hand. We can at least blow up the world. I gain some life here too. Trying to take the minimal amount of damage if possible. I had the teamer battle rage anyway. Alright, so we're not gonna kill anything here. We're gonna we're gonna lose the game right here. Even if I blocked with Pia Kirnalar, it wouldn't have mattered because the <clears throat> Scourge is going to be an 8-8. So that's 
Oh no, sorry, it's on my side. Six, then eight, it's 14. It really doesn't matter. Scourge kills us. Scourge is too big. We were trying to scry there to get the maze mine. We needed one more turn there. Would it a blood moon might have kept that? And a Karn the Great Creator. This card is really hard for this list to deal with. Just noting that down. We're 2-2 overall. Let's see if we can get a 3-2 victory. And then I'll give my thoughts on what this list is lacking. Give my thoughts. We'd be at minus two instead of minus three, totally game changing. Exactly. Minus three is an odd number. Minus two, at least the number two is a prime number and the only even prime number. Fascinating, right? Didn't think you'd get a math lesson, did you? What's up, UCI? UCI M Y Y? Let's play first. Just realized that Scourge grows between attacks. It, it is pretty cool, isn't it? That is pretty cool. Teamer Battle Rage is very scary. Can grow a lot. All right. Keeping this hand because it's a turn three Blood Moon, so that's on curve. But I can lay out a Maze Mind Tome here and hopefully distract my opponent. The castle is in play here from Kamigawa in a ghost quarter. We have a Stoneforge Mystic, and that will be the last thing that they play here. I'm gonna take a scry here with the Maze Mind Tome. Don't need new Karn. Blood Moons galore. Good luck, opponent. Taxi. The only one. The only one. Red white taxes here, attacking for one. One, two, three, one, two, mind stone, one, two, maze mind draw, spell bomb, go. Karn's about to make some big, big to uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, snow covered plains, uh oh. One, two, three, four. Take a draw here just to see what I top deck. Top deck Kadrick. One, two, three, four. Karn. Down tick with Karn. Scary thing here is Batterskull is a solid threat. Batterskull with a path following up is going to be a problem, but not an unsurmountable problem. It's. U U C C I I M A M Y Y. I'm not following. My brain exploded. My brain exploded. All right. So my opponent gets to germ us. Kills Karn. Attacks me. The spell bomb was a turn too late to make things interesting for my opponent. Extra spell bomb here is kind of cute. Let's do a draw. Gain some life. See what we top deck. Land. Spell bomb. Two, three. Gadrick. Go ahead, opponent. Got double spell bomb to shoot the germ. If we want to, can kill the stone forge as well. Gadrick's a nice beefy flyer. It's 22 to 24. You see, I am too wise for you. You see, I am. I am. For. I am too wise for you. Oh. Oh, oh you were putting you and then the letter spelled out what it was representing. I'm following. I'm following. All right, there's a Skyclave. Gets my Blood Moon here. Okay. I have bonus Blood Moons. We'll see what else they play this turn. 
Flicker Wisp, targeting Gadric. All right, that's fine. There's Gadric. Ta-da! We just take the damage because I want some options this coming turn. I have another Blood Moon to reset my whole Blood Moon problem. So I don't I don't see a reason to worry here. The relic. Alright, Blood Moon in play. Relic. New Blood Moon. I know I can't kill anything with the Pyrite Spell Bomb here. That's okay. We're not planning to. And then Gadric is a 5-4. Probably just swing. Nah, we gotta, we gotta defend. <clears throat> Clever fella. Oh no. Gadric dies. Gadric dies. Goodbye, Gadric. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm just gonna relic here and look for a different way to win this win. Like Karn, the greatest of creators, a great way to do that. Karn down to go get bridge. Slap it in. Hope that they don't have another flicker wisp here. Archon. Five, six, seven, eight. Need to kill Archon here. So, kill Archon. Let's start there. One, two, three, four. Karn, greatest of creators. Down tick. Down tick for bridge. Begin the locking process. Bridge. Pass turn. We have Skyclave that can be shot, and then a blocker, and we're at seven. My opponent could flicker wisp away the bridge here. No dice. Lean and Arbiter. Thalia. Looking solid. Hey, thank you for the 100 bits. When do our good people get an 8 whack league? Everyone had been begging for months, lol. <laughs> Time to hide behind the bridge, exactly. Um, do I want to shoot anything? Answer's no. Answer's an absolute no. Woohoo! 3, 4. Be a Kieran Alar, make some jump blockers. Let's down four. Now I have a few options here, but the answer to the game is Torp Orb. So we slap Torp Orb down and we win the game. But you could have gotten a Walking Ballista. You could have gotten a Liquid Metal Coating to shut them off white so you don't get the Flicker Whisk, so you don't get the Skyclave, but Torp Orb. Wins you the game. Easy mode. Also, these pyrite spell bombs are looking really good against the taxes list. I like this so far. We doing things. Now we'll see if my opponent makes us play this all the way out. If they do, we'll just have to get like a giant walking ballista probably and kill him that way. Hey, Shock, thank you for the 13. For the extra life for the kids. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Still can get those donations in for our big raffle on next Monday's stream. Donate for the kids. Help support the children's hospital. All right. Some good stuff there. That's a good way to end that game. All right. Angers and Torp Orbs here for relics. Pretty easy relic out. My opponent shouldn't be doing much with that. And we'll send it. Ooh, look at them emotes. Look at that donation. Still rolling in. This is why we do a week long, have that donation available. You can use the donation link actually for I think the whole month of November, December, but we focus on it right now because that's what we're doing. Let's keep this hand. We got a little bit of removal, a little bit of digging, a big dragon. When did GameStop ask for PS5? 
Manor said they were out of stock. Unless I knew the secret word. So I confidently said, Fluffy Wolf Tov, and now I'm a PS5 owner? Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Didn't know that I was the gateway to PS5 ownership. Congratulations, though. Let us know how it is. I have a PS4 that I think I played like three years ago. All right, we've got a couple Gadrix, a couple Galvanic Blasts here. I think I'm going to wait a turn here and have double Galvanic Blast open. I'm afraid of Ghost Quarter, Leon, and Arbiter. I can play safely here, I think. It's spectacular. Good to know. Ooh, my opponent does nothing. All right. On that note, then, Mindstone pass turn. Still have a Galvanic Blast open to remove a creature here. Looking like a Seasoned Pyromancer or a Gadrix, my next move. Again, leaving up Galvanic Blasts. I'm just gonna blast this now. I'm just gonna blast that now. I don't care if they know it's gone. It's gone. Don't get Batter Skull. My opponent gets to get Batter Skull. I really want a PS5 so I can play more Ghost of Tushima, Tushima but slightly prettier. <laughs> Relic Wanderer steals Mindstone. That's kind of rude. That's kind of rude. Um. Huh. I'm afraid of this Aether Vial. This Aether Vial sitting here on three is like a Flicker Wisp, I think. Gadrick's not really attacking anytime soon. Let's put this out and put a Season Pyromancer, getting rid of two Gadricks here. We have Galvanic Blast to blow something. No, we don't. Hmm. Huh. That's clever. That's clever. Now I can't. Now I can't galvanic blast. Not that I was going to. Archon's. Archon's a little OP there. All right, Karn, the greatest of creators. Maybe we'll shut off some aether vials here. Maybe we will. Combat two in the air. No block. I wonder if I set up Pia Kieran first, then Karn. What do we think here? I guess playing Darksteel made that go into play sideways. Hmm. I'm going to play Pia Kieran Nalar here anyway. It's some good blockers in the air. My opponent's failed to put some two drops in for a few turns here. I think their hand's chock full of maybe three drops. Mom and Pop turns it on on their turn. True, if I would have played the Mountain over the Darksteel Citadel, we might have goofed that slightly. I'm not too concerned where we're at, though. Not when I play Darksteel? Who needed that anyway? Lean in that Relic Warder. 4-4 four, four, and a 2-2. Two, two. Just hang tight here for a turn. Take some damage. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4. Attempt Karn, the greatest of creators here. Shuts off the Relics. So now... Probably just want to set myself up with like a worm coil engine or maybe walking ballista. So let's grab a. I can bra grab my mind stone here. Let's grab walking ballista and just pass the turn. With the Galv Blast, being able to maybe get rid of this lean and relic warder. 
I feel kind of nice with that. No Aether Vials, so no shenanigans. Sword of Fire and Ice is it's pretty good. <laughs> Can't activate it, though. Opponent comes all at Karn here. Let's go ahead and kill this. They've already played their spell. This is symmetrical. We can chump block here and then use Karn and Walking Ballista to fix everything else and get in for the damage in the W. And finish it out. Little 3-2 there with Gadric. One thing we could have done instead of getting the Walking Ballista has gotten a Torp Orb, but uh, I like the idea of the Walking Ballista because that'll further our game planning and get us there. Red Metal Moon. Red Prison Metal Moon. A Scred Silver Prison. Mishmash, if you will. So we had Gadric the Crown Scourge, which is an interesting card here because Gadric is able to attack and is fairly large. Great value for a 3-drop with a bit of a downside needing more artifacts to attack. That being said, the meta is chock full of targeted removal. Pia Kira Nalar makes three creatures. Season Pyromancer can make three creatures. Karn makes a creature, might make a second creature. A lot of what we're doing is this kind of token strategy with this list. And I'm really fond of just, I'm really, really getting good vibes from playing Pia and Kira Nalar. So much so that I'm suggesting now playing this card in Red Prison Strictly speaking lists. The Thopters are great. The ability to throw artifacts is really good, especially in this list. Just all around really good card. Super Nonbo, bad things with Torp Orb over here, but sometimes you have to live on the edge. One thing that I thought was not working in this list, unfortunately, is we didn't have a good way to interact with creatures that were relatively large. Scourge is a good example. Death Shadow, maybe Gurmag, maybe just some other bigger creatures. I think you need a few more bridges. You need a few more bridges or a way to remove something big. And then I'm going to toss this out there, but you need maybe one or two artifact removal spells. I, I think those are needed. You like this really more artifact heavy spin on the red prison? I, I, I can agree. I can agree with you. I like the artifacts. Maze Mind Tome's been doing great. Mindstone's interesting. You're not getting that super fast Blood Moon, but it's still allowing you to play Blood Moon pretty consistently because you can put Mindstone on turn two, and if you miss your land drop, you're still dropping Blood Moon more times than not. To me, the question becomes, are these five cards worth it? If you can justify Karn, Cyanaversa, and Gadric in some way, I think you can then continue to play this list. If you cannot, if you cannot, and maybe you don't own Chalice of the Void, but you own a few more bridges, I would go a little more controlling, still playing the Piacurans, still playing the Karns, I would put some bridges in for these cards. I'd put some abrades in. Maybe you don't do Galvlast. Maybe you do Lightning Bolt if you don't own the Galvlast. I like the relics. I like the Pyrite Spell Bombs. I could see these changes. Sideboard, Dragon's Claw, drop one, unless you're in a bunch of prowess red, strictly red prowess matchups. And I'm not seeing the boil come in as much, but Make your choices based on your meta. This is Gadric Red Prison, a metal red prison for modern. And that's my thoughts.